start off with three of our largest baked potatoes and we're gonna stuff these things up. First, we're gonna start you off with a dollop of butter here, here, here. Then we're gonna add a little bit of cheese just to bind things together. We're gonna add a little sour cream down here for flavor and a little chives down there because every bite matters, right? And let's go for the big stuff. So we're gonna do a pound of chopped beef. We're gonna add that right over here. And we're gonna add some of our mild original link. And we're gonna add half a pound of our famous homemade link. This is our Cajun spicy link right here, one of our best sellers. This is that spicy kicker right here. And time for the good stuff. We're gonna finish it off with a pound of Burns Original Barbecue Ribs. Stick that right there. We're gonna add a, some of our famous Burns Original Sauce. One of our famous sauces here in Texas. Just when you thought we was finished. Top it off Texas style. Add a little sour cream here. Come on with a little cheese or a lot of cheese. And we're gonna finish it off with some chives, guys. And a little bit more cheese. 10 pound baked potato. This is one of our new attractions, our mega super Burns baked potato. That Texas barbecue. <laughs> I'm definitely going to take a nap after this, and I'm going to give me another serving of it, too. <laughs> Burns Burns Barbecue started with my grandfather, Rob Burns Sr. He just started barbecuing at home, uh, providing for his nine kids. Got the demand grew for it, started, went to the street corner for a few years. The demand grew even bigger and then we moved to this spot in the 80s. When we started here, and just took off. When he passed away, the restaurant closed for about a year or two, and it took us like two years for the whole family to get back together, and we came back to, to the original location. We started it back up. Even though we're a small family-owned business, and been around for 46 years, we have our customer base from Houston, Texas, uh, all over the 50 states, United States, and all over the country. When Anthony Bourdain came by, uh, that took us to New Heights. Everybody wanted to come by and check us out. They let us know where they're from. The pit masters here is my dad, Steve Burns and Gary Burns. They've been here since the late 80s, early 90s. We have cousins, uh, uncles, even aunties back there uh, hooking it up. They know everybody know the recipe, everybody know the formula. So it's really family-owned business. Working side by side with family is actually, it's fun and it's challenging some days, but at the end of the day, we love each other. We do it for the business. We do it for our grandfather, we do it for our customers, and we do it for each other. That Texas barbecue. <laughs> This is a traditional barbecue restaurant. We have the traditional meats. Our dinner plates comes with the ribs, links, chopped beef, homemade links for chicken. Just from Texas, everybody likes things oversized and big in Texas. We want to create a fun menu item. We decided to put the three meat baked potatoes together. That thing took off real, real nice and people want to load their baked potato up. We actually named the baked potato after our grandfather. This is our Roy Burns Mega Baked Potatoes, guys. That's that one, it's that 10 pound mega baked potato. We'll get it just, uh, we have family get together, so we'll come over here, pick one up, take it back to the house, hang out, and everybody just picks at it. I absolutely was surprised to see that baked potato come from up under there. I did not know that they had this one. They have the monster ones, but I didn't know that they had that big 10 pounder. We got a variety of meat, sausages. Brisket, ribs. I think it was the other Hey man, you just pick you just pick your part. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Cut that. Cause I'm eating and trying to talk. I'm messing up this whole thing. <laughs> This spot right here is just the straight domain of the, the, the city, the staple of the Acres Home community. Something my grandfather built, so this place, we're gonna be here forever. We're not moving anywhere. We love this old school, small building. People love the authenticity of the building. You got just history inside this building. Instead of chasing the people all over the city, we want everybody to come here, see the culture, feel the atmosphere, and that, that brings more love in the food as well. Great Barbecue Lives On is a slogan that my dad came up with after my grandfather passed. We want our great barbecue to live on forever.